Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we will start up to now what we have learned. We have learned different concepts in the Angular like styles, CSS. These are all the things we have learned, right? So now it's time for us to implement these all the things in a simple project. The concepts what we have learned. I am taking the same Angular project which is in Angular 16. I will delete these all the things. So let's try to create it from the scratch. Now here I am deleting these all the things. Let's delete these models and everything. Yeah, let's delete it. And I am deleting these models also. Let's delete it. Yeah. Fine. Let's go to the app component.html. I will remove this all the code. We will start it from first onwards using the bootstrap and all the things. And I will delete this course component and all those things also. I am deleting it. Fine. So we have did the thing right. So it's compiled successfully. Now what I want to do is I will define I will create a routing. So here I will create app iPhone routing dot module dot ts. I am expecting that these are all the things you already know about these all things. If you don't know means you can watch my earlier Angular complete course thing. So you here there I have explained you each and everything detail. So export class app routing module. So this is our app routing module and here it needs to in include ng module and here we'll be having the imports and exports. First let's define the routes thing. So routes is equal to routes. It should be a routes. It should be imported with the routes. Constant routes. This route should be imported from the uh, um, I think Angular router I think. Yeah Angular router. So this should be an array. And here we need to uh, import the array. So here imports. And we will be having another one is an exports. So here it should be router module. Router module. This one also should be imported from the Angular router. Router module yeah so router module dot for root and we need to send the routes so here and this one in order to use in the app module we need to exclude ex export this one now we need to create the routes for this one what i will do is nggc i will create a new one courses and also i will create another component also users so these two components will try to get let it create the components so here courses has been created the component and also I am creating the new one that is users. I will be also creating another component users. Let's create the users thing also. The component users is also created. So these are the two components which I have created it. Let's create the routing for this one. So for creating the routing what we need to do is here we need to create path which is of empty. So home page and we need to load the component that is nothing but courses component. That's it. And another route what I want to define is the same like this I will define it and here path we will be having so here whenever the user opens the users and I need to load the users component that's it. So these are the two component these are the two routing which I have initialized it. So first one is the home page then I need to open the courses component when the user types the users I need to open the users component and here I am importing the router module exporting the router module. Now what I need to do here in the app dot module in the imports I need to add this app routing module that's it. So here up to here browser module and app routing module is finished. Now let's go to the output and let's see first. So here if you try to see nothing so far nothing has happened and console nothing errors is also there. Now we need to design the page why because in the app component dot html nothing is present. So here it is completely empty. So here let's create a what I can say simple nav bar and also uh, we will create the router outlet now here for creating this navbar what i need to do i will take this one in a container simple container so bootstrap is already included in this one bootstrap 5 so uh, we have in included in the angular.json uh, these are the things we have did previously only right so angular.json in the styles we are able to include this one if you don't know we just we can you can see the earlier videos how to in how to add the bootstrap library in angular project you can see it in our earlier videos and let's go to the app component that we so here i am taking one row and for this one i will take call iphone xs iphone 12 so here we'll create an ul and i will be having an li okay and we let's have an anchor link courses and we'll have an another one users so these are the two pages which i am trying to do it now here if you try to see here, we will be able to see courses and the users. Let us add an anchor link for this one. For adding an anchor link, what we need to do in Angular, we need to give a router link. Okay. So router link is equal to slash you can give or empty also you can give it. And here also router link if I try to give it. 
slash users okay now if you see the output let's see the output and here we are able to get courses and users if i click on the courses users we are not able to see anything right so let's leave it like but the, at the top we are able to see that url is changing users if i click slash users we are able to get courses means we are able to get it so far no errors we are not getting any errors now what i will do so let's try to uh, use the bootstrap thing and design this one in our bootstrap if you go to the bootstrap okay if you go to the bootstrap this is the bootstrap and we are having the fifth version i think read the docs and let's go to the nav nav only the nav okay nav if i go to the nav mm, if you go to the nav oh this one is all nav bar we are able to see nav mm, base nav we'll see about the nav syntax base nav yeah here so here if you try to see for the selection and all the things nav pills yeah here we'll take this nav pills for this one what we need to do for the ul we need to give the class nav if and nav pills let's go here for the ul we need to give nav if and nav pills for the li you need to give what we need to give nav if and item okay for the ul we need to give nav if and item okay let's go here for the li i will give nav if and item and for this li we will give nav if and item and for this one we need to give nav if and link okay and the same thing for the anchor link also here also i need to give nav if and link now let's see whether we are able to see the output clearly or not if i try to see here yeah here it is looking somewhat fine but whatever the user it have what are the user the user has selected so we need to highlight that one so what can we do here so in our bootstrap you will be able to see that for the highlighted one we need to give the active then only this active this blue color border will come okay let's go here and add an active for this one okay i am adding active for this one courses thing let's see whether we are able to see the output or not now we are able to see the other. when i click on the users user should be in the active mode so for this one what we need to do is so we have an option that is nothing but what i can see is for the anchor link right so router link active we have a method uh, we have a uh, directive called as router link active and what is the type of class we need to apply it here so when this rotor is active we need to apply the class this one for the same thing also we need to have it here and now we have added this one let's see the output we are able to see it or not so if i try to click on the courses and here we are able to see the output we are getting but the courses is always it is selecting so it should not be like this why because so we know that courses is in home page right and users means slash is there so slash is taken for the courses and also for the users so it is thinking that uh slash is also there means home page is also there like that it is thinking so for this one what we need to do is for this one we need to tell that exact match so router link options so here you can give exact true so it should follow the exact true and this one we keep it in a square bracket so that we can have like this yeah now if you see the output for this one let's see let's refresh this page Mm, yeah now the users only is selected if i click on the courses course is selected users means user is selected now you are able to see the exact thing now when i click on the courses we need to show the courses component right for this one what we need to do is let's go here and up to here this is finished and here i can write dot row dot call iphon xs iphon 12 and here i will write the route outlet that's it what happened yeah route outlet now if you see the output see immediately we are able to see the courses works and if you click on the user user works so now we need to des uh, design this routing courses ro component and the users component we need to write the logic for this one so just we have defined the routing and we have initialized the routing and we have designed the basic header thing and we have initialized the route outlet thing so this is all about this is all what the project initialization and all the things what i will try to do is i will commit this all the code in our uh, new branch video iphone 14 this is our new project from here onwards we will be starting the project i am committing this one all so initializing a new project okay initializing new project i will click on all these things so that all the changes will go commit these all the things so who so who are maybe having doubts and all those things so the same code the same branch or the same repository url so here you can go to the angular animations whoever may be having doubts and everything so they can go to this particular uh, github repository url 
this github repository url will be provided in the description below of every video you can go to that particular uh, branch which or whatever the video you are observing and you can have it for the reference hope you understood about this project initialization and all those things defining the routes if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you